Good day, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the show. Today is Tuesday, the 19th of November, 2018. 9 Sorry, I missed the year. Where did the year go? <laughs> well, anyway, let's get started. Let's open up the charts right here and take a look at what's going on. Bitcoin, year-to-date price decline. Sets up very sentiment before 2020 having. You know, this is kind of weird, you know. Very sentiment, they're going to have the amount of Bitcoin being created on the network. Means miners are only going to get half as many. And that's going to create a berry sentiment? Something's wrong here. <laughs> Something's not right about that. It should create a bullish sentiment. But anyway, let's move on. I'm, not, I'm just going to take a look at this article. I want you guys to read what it says right here. I want you guys to think about it for a minute. Uh, locked out of their bank accounts. What this shows you is simply the power that banks have. All the banks have over everyone. This is the power banks have. You know, that when you give them your money, you're giving them your money. <laughs> Backed. I'm sure you guys have all heard of back. Well, it started out kind of sizzled. It kind of fizzled a little bit when it started out, but now the trading volume and activity is is just what they call sizzling after a slow start. So, everything evidently backed is really getting going good. It says uh, ISIS backed cryptocurrency exchange platform starts to see its Bitcoin future trading activity rise. As volumes record over 15 million worth of Bitcoin in one day. It says, but what does this imply? Well, it implies that, 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 that it's starting to take, you know, it's starting to work. Uh, now, Monero. You want to be careful, you guys out there, with Monero. Because if you go to the Monero website... And you download anything from there right now. Evidently, it says Monero website gets infected by a malware attack. Amer uh, Monero users who download files in the last 24 hours from the official crypto website could be exposed. So what you want to do is you want to be careful if you go there to their site and you download anything off of there, you know. Um... Uh, I don't know how long that'll last. They'll probably get it fixed pretty soon, I would imagine. Just a second here. There's a German airline here called Han. And it's issuing its first blockchain-powered airline tickets. It says, German Airlines Han became the first airline in the world to issue a blockchain technology-enabled real-world airline ticket in a partnership with Swiss Decentralized, an open source travel distribution pa pa platform, Winding Tree. It also claimed to be the first airline to fly passengers holding blockchain powered tickets on a scheduled flight from Dusseldorf to Luxembourg on November 18th, 2019. You know, the other airlines could follow suit and it could happen really fast. Uh, now, let's take a look here. Top economist says the way to kill Bitcoin is to keep the price under $1,000. Now, what I want to know is, how are you going to get the price of Bitcoin down under $1,000 and keep it there? Because I think just about everybody out there, and I'm certain of this, are going to back the truck up. If the price gets anywhere even... Not too much lower than it is right now, but $1,000? Says a widely followed economist says suppressing Bitcoin price can kill the cryptocurrency. Research supports this assessment as retail traders still dominate the market share. A strong correlation between Bitcoin and Google searches point to the vulnerability of retail traders to price manipulation. Alex Kruger, an economist and trader who took to Twitter to share his thoughts on how anyone can eliminate Bitcoin for good. 
You know, they, they've really they've been wanting to eliminate Bitcoin for a long time, haven't they? And they've been trying to think of ways to do it. This this way is, is first off, how are you going to get it under a thousand bucks? How are you going to get all those holders, uh, those hodlers out there to sell? You know, especially when the price gets, if the price were to get cheaper and cheaper and cheaper, how are you going to get them to sell? You know, maybe it's not just as simple as is saying getting the price under a thousand. I don't think we're ever going to see the Bitcoin price ever go under a thousand dollars again. That's just my opinion. I think those days have come and gone, you know. But just for sake of argument, let's say somehow they were to get the price down to under a thousand dollars for Bitcoin. Well, there's only one place for it to go then at that point in time, and it's up in price, you know. Because there's a limited amount of Bitcoin. If there wasn't a limited amount of Bitcoin, if Bitcoin was like the U.S. dollar, unlimited in supply, I could see them getting it down to a thousand. I could see them getting down down to a hundred. I could see them getting it down under a buck. I could see them getting down to a penny. I could see them getting free if they're like the dollar, unlimited in supply. But there's a hard limit of twenty-one million. Cannot ever break that. That's written in stone. That's written by computer code. And so I can't ever see the price going that low. What do you guys think? Well, leave what you think in the comment section. Thank you guys for listening to the show. Give me a thumbs up. And we'll catch you guys in the very next episode. Bye-bye.